Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another episode on Tunguska. And I'm not sure if I... I had a, a clip turn out bad with no audio. But uh managed to get a male Salitasaur finally. So we've been bringing these guys up as well. And yeah. Oh, you guys! <laughs> Trying to get perfect your boas and they are just not cooperating. Uh, let's see, exotic bird and copy. Yep, nope. Okay. But, uh, got myself some uh, Therzinos so that we're actually getting Therzino eggs. And we're up to 10. Alright, cool. Uh, we've got some actually high level uh, exotic birds. So I'm kind of curious to see how they're going to come out. And I tamed to myself a Shadow Cat. And he's very grumpy looking. Also, the eyes glow in the dark, which is kind of cool. Alright. Let me come over here. Uh, saddles. Camel. Wolf. Elephant. Lion. Shadow Cat. There we go. You can ride the Shadow Cats without a yeah, saddle, which I was doing, but the armor would honestly be better. And there you go. Uh, you can find shadow cats in the mountainous regions. Uh, that's kind of where I found this one. I found it while I was actually out looking for Dodicarus, which I finally got one. Got a max level one. But uh, yeah, the shadow cats there. Kinda Thyla ish. Uh, left click bite, right click is claw swipe. C is a roar. Hear me. So C, roar. X. <laughs> kind of fun little emote there. And then control is another roar. So I don't think the roars actually do anything besides cosmetic, but it's really kind of cool to see. Uh, they seem to be pretty either extremely resistant to fall damage or immune. One of the two. 15... 35. Hello. Uh, pretty decent stats, actually. This thing came out with 5,000 health when I first tamed it, and I've dumped a bunch of levels into uh, melee now. But 5k health is actually pretty respectable for just a creature to run around on. Also, he's got uh, bright red toe beans. Uh, decent speed over land. I mean, not, the, not the greatest, but... Oh, there we go. But, uh, you know, not bad. Now, they are kind of, you know, Thyla-ish. Without the ability to climb, unfortunately. Uh, we have Adolescent, Juvenile, okay. Keeping my eyes out for any other high-level Highland cows I can come across here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just random Bronto, but... But these guys also have really impressive, you know, four-wheel drive, so... And, yeah, they can go up some pretty steep inclines, which is kind of nice, actually. I mean, they can't climb, but they can just run right up quite a bit. Hey! And turns out whenever you dump, like, 70-plus levels into melee, they actually do pretty decent damage. Now, I just saw that OSD come down. Oh, hey, there's a bird over there. 130. Hmm. I need rare flowers to tame those, though. And the uh, right click, the claw attack, seems to harvest more hide than uh, meat, which is kind of nice. Okay, they do take a little bit of fall damage. And both bite and claw do the same damage, so. Claw attack does seem to be a little bit quicker, though. They're a little more spammable anyway. Alright. Okay. I thought it was a terror bird at first for some reason. Alright, so I have no idea where that OSD was. But I did find... Okay, that's a really good crossbow blueprint. Uh, just random blue drop here in the uh, desert area. 
Oh, let me get my spyglass up. Uh, 17, 4, 15, one, or 51, 5. And just, yeah, random blue drop. Hey, Terror Bird. <laughs> Didn't think that would work out well for you. And Austrian Civius. Okay, we're ignoring those guys for right now. Um, they are sacrificial tames like Trotons are, but they are much bigger and meaner. And at least I know where they're at on this map. They also spawn in the Redwoods, apparently. So, yeah, look, oil vein. I need to actually get some oil pumps down. Dude, this dire wolf is just beating up on these Jerboas. What the heck? Oh. Whoops. Oh, you're a high level Jerboa, aren't you? No, I'm just going to leave you guys alone. Hmm. Nah, not worth the effort. Alright, um... I was thinking about bullying them and then just eating them, but... It's just silk is all, so it's not really that huge of a thing to worry about. <laughs> it's a floating beehive right there. <laughs> okay. Alright. Actually, while we're over here, I do need to get my hands on a flyer sometime soon. Um, I said flyer, not bird. Alright. Stracosaur? Hey, look at you. I'm going to come over to I could probably knock that out, actually. With the... Uh, Two shocking trank darts I have. I also got a bunch of trank arrows. Well, hello. Mosasaur. Okay. Kind of an odd place for a you know, water creature dossier in the middle of the desert. Now, we're coming up to a fun area. And let's see. We got a water well here. Actually, no, it's a little further. Okay, that I think is the north wall of the map. Not here, but beyond it. And is it the north wall of the map? Yeah, we're getting close. Okay. And so that means around here, I think over this way bit is the uh Summoning pedestal for the Desert Titan. And... Oh, run, horse. Oh, this would have been a place to come for... It took me so long to find Dodecris. It really did. Didn't even think to try a desert area. Alright, and... Let's see, I want to head over further this way for the really fun area. Yep, here it is. The uh, Artifact of Chaos, anyway. And the pedestal is right here. There's actually two Artifacts of Chaos over here. There's one there and one there. Is that a Smilodon? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Did you take care of it? Yeah, you probably did. A 140 to Dicarus. Yeah. Oh, well. I got a 150. I tamed up, and it's also a male. That is a 140 male. So. Alright. So, Desert Titan. We still need the Corrupt Hearts, Fire Talons, and Sarko Skin. So, that's a thing. But if we keep going over this way, there's a bunch of salt right there. It's going to probably get kind of laggy here in a second. Because I don't think this has ever been fixed. Dragon statue, which is awesome. And there we go, because... <laughs> I 
We are down. It's actually registering at times zero frames per second. That is an overspawn of Phoenix. All right, let's see if this works now. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, I just tried to destroy all. Oh my god. I loaded them all in. Okay, there we go. <laughs> tried using the destroy all uh, classes command and destroy wild dino classes. And yeah, apparently it didn't work. Hmm. All right, well. So, yeah, we're not going to that section of the map. I mean, there is a different command I could use to get rid of everything, but that'd kill all wild dinos within range, a certain range. And that would end up just, yeah, not be ideal is what it would be. Not the desired effect. So... All right, well, we need a flyer of some kind. And like a Lamantria, not gonna cut it, right? I mean. Hey, Jerboas. Like, I'm really liking getting around the map on non-flying mounts. But there are certain things that you do need flyers for and Although, hmm, I just had a thought. Oop. Hmm. I have a rock trick. I don't really need a flyer until I want to actually start picking things up and then carry them around. Okay, now that you, you know. Hello, Titanosaur. Ah, freaking getting your butt kicked by a boulder there a second ago. Why? What? Freaking Drake's. All of a sudden, he's just like, no, I want to go this way. All right. Yeah. Jump. Damn you. Yeah, it looks like we actually might make the island. Cool. Uh, as long as my stamina holds out. That is the biggest pain, is the gliding takes stamina. But this guy's got a pretty decent stamina already, so... I haven't leveled it up any, though. And... <laughs> right there, okay. Almost made it. Tell you what. Follow me. Just making sure I had my dragonfly on my back still too. I mean, I got the buff, you know, that should be good enough, but I didn't see it at first, so. Alright. Compass. Okay. At least it wasn't a crop plot. the hell is that? What? Oh, it's like a underground ribcage or whatever that's... I've never noticed that before. That is a titanosaur who had a very bad day. Especially since it looks like it healed like that.
All right, well. Learn something new every day about this map, then. Stamina full, yep. Yep, that little loss of altitude there at the beginning, that didn't help matters any. The good news is rock drakes can jump out of water, as long as they have stamina. One of the things I want to check out is this uh, Tranodon nest over here. Come on. But let's hit up a blue drop first. You never know. I mean, I've actually gotten some good equipment on blue drops before. Even though it's mainly Ichthyornis bait, apparently. I think it hit my rock drake. Or tried stealing from my rock drake and got us both. But, uh... uh it didn't steal my meat and... Yeah, no, everything's still there. And up, there we go. Oh, you ran out of stamina? Yeah, makes sense, I guess. There we go. And yeah, here's the Tranodon nest. And doesn't look like there's anything in there though. This one I've noticed never really seems to have much going on for it. I mean, there's, there's the eggs in there. But uh, I've never seen any baby Tranodons here. Yeah, I came over here looking for Dodecris, and the ones that I saw were gone. So that was a, a good little deal trying to find more. And come to find out, I should have just... Should have just gone to the desert in the first place. Alright, do you need anything cool? Uh, I got a bunch of meat you don't need. Whole bunch of prime meat. Good lord. Uh, well, I did eat a baby, so. Maybe Zuni's just given an insane amount of raw meat. Raw prime meat. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw out the scrap metal too. Oh, you're almost exactly the same colors as my, uh, my dial is back at base now. So I'm trying to get over this thing here, this uh, rock face, I guess we can call it. There's some ruins right here, which we've actually kind of covered this before. This is where the tunnel goes to uh, the aberration area. Hello. Uh, 55. All right, so let's keep heading this direction. Now from up here, 
Holy crap, the Grippins are over spawning too. Alright. Usually the Grippins don't, but uh, there's the swamp of the map right there. Um. Well, that's not a huge overspawn. Um, yeah. Come on, it's not letting me actually target the ground there. I can there, but I can't actually... Come on. <laughs> uh, I think they're all... Their AI is all a little bork too. But if we come into here, got a bunch of baby griffins. Their AI is fine. They don't want anything to do with me. The adults out here though, there we go. That was over pretty quick. And that is how I deal with overspawns. Alright. Hey, cool, you got another level. Yeah, let's give you some stamina, actually. We're doing a pretty decent amount of damage right now, so... But yeah, it's a uh, 45.5, 62.7 for the uh, entrance to the griffin nest. Oh, I left a griffin on the ground. There we go. And griffins don't tend to give a whole lot of a uh, whole lot of meat either. What the hell? Oh, what is up there dropping? There's a tech griffin up there. Right, uh, better dinos adds in tech griffins. Yeah, you can see the little tech feathers right there and there. Dude, get off the butt. All right, yeah, what I can see looks pretty cool. And let's just get rid of a bunch of this stuff. Tech Griffin. There was a 168 as well. Are you following me or something? Yeah, you are. What did I whistle you want to follow? The 168 is right there. Okay. All right, and there we go. That's only the 24. Okay. But the regular Griffins did not care whenever I uh, 
shot to tech Griffin. So they're just as bad as like tech Stegos and whatnot about, you know, being racist towards uh, tech creatures. All right, and thing is, is we still have there's still that 168 tech up there that's the one i want all right went back to base got more shocking trank darts and grab some kibble Oh, wow. <laughs> that just hit for like half my health right there. Oh, there's two of them there is why. Oh. All right, let's uh, rethink things a bit here and there we go. Put you, oh my God. Oh wait, ow, ow. Okay. They gotta have good armor, but it's not gonna protect me forever. There we go. Yeah, I don't think Griffins take headshots, do they? can't even see right now so it turns out that if you uh just let them sit for a bit they will uh they just kind of break a bit okay i didn't mean to shoot you but okay i had to go back and get more darts anyway so i decided to go ahead and finally make myself a uh, harpoon gun what the heck? <laughs> Get out of my way. <laughs> Quit secret servicing your friend, okay? There we go. Just need to put one more dart in the thing and it'll be down. There it goes. Two darts, I think. Dang it. Now it's trying to fly into the wall. There we go. Now it's down. And you have been a massive pain. And I'm going to take special pleasure in shooting you in the face.
Uh, I don't think it's going to pass out off of... Yep, no. It stopped going up. Now it's down. I love whenever you knock them out like that, they just... Poof. It's like there's no intervening animation. They just go from fully upright to pancake. And... I was only planning on taming one, but I'll take two. Especially a mate boosted pair. Alright. It's not the real reason I headed out of my Drake, but that'll work. I just had a sudden wild hair to uh, go check out the, the Griffin Cave. And offhand, I would say it worked out for me. Well, hello, Rex. Uh, we're standing. They did beat up on my Drake pretty good, though. Oh, hey, Tech Drake. Yeah, level 60. Alright, so we're back over at the uh, northeastern island. And... Come on. There we go. Taming that 120 or 150 uh, female Shally that was over here. All right, come on. And while I was taming her, um... all right, come on. I also ended up taming this uh, parasaur over here. All right, let's take a peek at some stats here. Uh, let's see. Shally. She's got really good food. She's pretty good weight, though. And this Paris has actually got some pretty good health to it. I mean, nothing amazing, but, I mean, not bad. And I did steal a level 20 Dononicus egg. And... Glee. They've actually taken to respawning around here now. Because I haven't seen any. And the nest I found was actually just out here on the beach. Oh no, I killed a monkey. Alright, so... Not really seeing... Yeah, I'm not seeing any nests or anything. Oh, hey! <laughs> Literally, just as soon as I said that. Level 60. Ah, you didn't give me the high level one out of the two of you. Alright, and... Oh, hey! 155. Oh, and hopefully this is your egg. It is. All right, cool. Not quite as good as the one we have at home already, but it might have a good stat or two. Even if I end up just like copying the, uh, the one that I have currently, then, uh, Having an imprint will be a huge bonus. All right, what do we got here? Um, yeah, I want all the stuff. You know what? We'll take half a stack of that. Dang it. 
me. I want to go into the cave with the rock trick. We've already done it the, the fun way with a Dilophosaur that, yeah. <laughs> that was bright. Fly. Good lord. Some of the lighting glitches on this map, though. All right, and... Let's go ahead and come on through this way. There you go. You can have that meat back now. Okay. <laughs> that didn't work out quite so well, and I did it. Oh, hey, there's an artifact here waiting for us. All right, and another copy of the Devious. Um, yeah, pretty much everything in this cave is going to, going to ignore me because yeah, rock drakes are the same basically tier as Rex's. So there's only a few creatures that'll actually go after you. And there we go. There we go. All right. Oh, come on. It's doing the charge attack against me, and actually it was working on a rock trick. I figured it would be too big for that to, to be a thing. Yeah, well, that was easy. All right, uh, grab the goodies. A uh, couple more levels. Oh, this. There we go. The brightness is an issue. All right, and. <laughs> I got turned around. <sighs> Dang it. Oh, and again. What the heck? Um, right, so, I couldn't even get my head to go above water there, that was weird. I think that's a function of the dragonfly sometimes. I've had it happen before, I'm not sure what the cause is though.
All right, do we get any more Dononica spawning in Magic Link? I had to be in this area actually for quite a while. It took probably eight minutes to tame up that chalet. There we go. Hey guys. Now, if you were here, where is your nest at, if you had one? Well, that was special. It's not often you see a rock trick do a somersault in the middle of climbing a wall. Yeah, I'm not seeing any uh, nests around here. Kind of a shame. Wait, what? Did you just make a noise at me? I might have killed those Dononicus uh, too quick for them to actually have a nest, but I thought the nest would like spawn in with them, not any you know, like, time after. Hmm. Yeah, they may not have just, you know, just may not have had a nest because I have seen them spawn around here without, you know, having a nest in the area. Kind of shame because it's another 155, and yeah, been nice to get some breeding stock developed. And I have no idea how that seeker ended up there, but it did. All right, we got another Trudon coming in. There's one over there. Let's head back to base and there we go. I was kind of hoping to find another Ursus too, but no luck there. The thing I'm curious about. Can Tech Griffins breed? Well, they do have an enable mating option. And they do breed. Okay, then. I kind of like the little lightning bolts around the eye. That's a nice touch. They do look a lot. I think it's because they don't have any real feathers or fur. They look really, really like spindly though, especially their front legs. But uh, yeah, like the raptor, and we have a, a tech parasaur over here too. They they don't look you know fragile or as fragile, but. That could be just because of the, uh, like I said, the lack of fur and feathers. All right, and we did get this Parasaur tamed up as well. It's another female, but did you have any good stats? Really? Yeah, you had a uh, pretty decent health, right? 37 points to health. 37, okay. 35 melee. 35 melee. Twenty-seven weight, thirty weight. Okay, 
finally found a stat that was an identical between the two of them. All right. Yeah, I've not been finding good, you know, parasols with good stats at all, so. All right, and yeah, I've got a 20, a 60, and a 155. So let's do this. You can go here. The rest of the Dalakis eggs can go with, into the uh, cooking pot here. And I did start moving some of my storage. And trying to get things sorted out and separated and all that as well is always fun, but it does make things easier in the long run. So these first two boxes are hide, and I've got 260 stacks now. Uh, this one is hide, or not hide, uh, pelt. And this last one here is silk, which, what? yeah, I'm doing not as great on silk. Over here, though, I've actually got one of these little small generic crates just for artifacts. Uh, then we have gems, nothing yet, and apex drops, like Rex arms. That way I can get everything in one spot and I can you know, see what all we've got going on, so on and so forth. Come down here, I've got a drum just for oil. I've actually made one of these element bins. I had over a thousand element dust, so I just turned one, you know, a thousand into one element. And that way I have a store, a place to store this stuff anyway. Uh, then we got spark powder, and then we have gunpowder. It actually says on there, American powder. American powder mills, okay. And then I still have, like, my, uh, my character chitin box in here, so... But the, uh, the old smithy is uh, getting kind of emptied out a little bit. Which I'm okay with, really. Oh, another thing I did was... Actually built the, the woodshed. And have it tucked over here now. And we've got 186 stacks of wood. So, I mean, we're doing better on that. And then I've got a little little handcart here just for thatch, which we're not doing as good on thatch, but I haven't really ever gone out specifically for thatch. So I can remember. I might have, but I kind of doubt it. Not on a large scale anyway. Okay, so do we have a griffin egg yet? I opened an air conditioner. Uh, griffin egg... Oh, wait a second. You probably give live birth, don't you? Uh, yes, you are just eating. Okay. And then again. All right. And nada. Okay. I'm working at it. Oh, we did get some more raptors, though. I finally got a perfect male raptor. Uh, 252 now. And yeah, okay. I shouldn't say finally got a perfect male. I recently just found another male raptor that had uh, better stats in, I think it was health. So I'm like, okay, yeah, that one's got to go in the breeding line. Uh, the compies are still being a pain. And right now I'm trying to get mutated males from my uh, Denonicus. Wow, they were both 1-8, 1-7, and then, yep, yeah, nothing there. Then the birds, yeah. So, okay, that's the one I want to hatch. Give it a second, there it goes. And it's even a female. All right. So my male is probably out front here. Yep, right here. And she's got one point better weight, three points better stam, and less on everything else. But she's also, yeah, like he was a level 190. So, 
but she can contribute, you know, nicely, so. Hmm, yeah, I've, I've tried regular meat, I've tried cooked meat, and I still can't get the Naimongs to, uh, to make jerky. But this is the first time in a while I've opened up the inventory after putting cooked meat in, and there's actually cooked meat there. Usually they just... My little Nymog over there is just a glutton for cooked meat, I think, is what's going on. She just can't get enough of it. But I did hear some more Nymogs while I was out and about, so... I'm probably going to go try and tame those. Uh, let's put our shell on away for now. And, okay, that's my good Carno. There's my Dodicris. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Um, tech Griffins. I mean, okay. It's probably going to take a while to get all the good stats consolidated. So, probably don't want to spend the entire, you know, an entire episode doing that. So, I'll try and get them bred together enough that we're uh, we're good to go. Uh, 5,500. There we go. And get some more stuff done on the house. I mean, I've got the, the second floor done here. But, uh... It needs a roof. <laughs> you know, honestly, I, I gotta have some sort of topper to it, so... But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.